Hello guys and girls, voices from the dark here, welcome back to the savior of Skyrim. It's time to go to school. In the last episode, we fought our way to Winterhold, we got some respites and then we crossed the bridge. Now, we are ready to begin some magical studies, learn spells, make new friends and get new quests. However, we're just here for a quick little visit to get the essentials and then we're out because we have a greater purpose. But for now, let us make our introductions. I believe I've made myself rather clear. Oh? Yes, of course. I'm simply trying to understand the reasoning behind the decision. Are those you may be used to the Empire bowing to your every whim, oh. but I'm afraid you'll find the Thalmor received no such treatment here. You are a guest of the college, here at the pleasure of the Archmage. I hope you appreciate the opportunity. Yes, of course. The Archmage has my thanks. Very good. Then we're done here. <laughs> wow, she just... Smack that Thalmor bast, I mean, person. And <laughs> doesn't even know how to. There we go. <laughs> Waiting for the doors to open for him. Doors were far too advanced for Welcome him to. to the college. Hello. I was told to come see you. Another new student. But... I'm surprised at how many of you there are lately. Okay. Well, but... first you'll need these. While you're not required to wear them. You may find them more to your liking than your current clothes. Hey. I'll give you a brief tour, and then we'll get you to your first class. Are you ready to begin? Alrighty. Got some novice robes of destruction, a novice hood, and some college boots. I'd love to have a look around. Wonderful. Please follow me, and don't wander off. The College of Winterhold has been a fixture in Skyrim for thousands of years. Wait a minute, we... The prominent feature here is the Hall of the Elements. It's our primary location for lectures, practice sessions, and general meetings. The Arcanium is located above the hall, and the Archmage's quarters above that. While technically in charge of the college, the Archmage's responsibilities often keep him occupied. Thus, I run the day-to-day -day operations. Now, if you'll please follow me, I'll show you the living quarters. Okay. Unfortunately, we've had to implement more stringent entry procedures due to some problems with the local Nords. We don't anticipate any real violence, but it never hurts to be prepared. I like how she dissed our outfit, but we have the same outfit. I mean, I did add, like, a, a horned helmet on top. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe she doesn't take me seriously because of it, but... I just can't bring myself to wear a novice hood. Like, this is, no. 30 points of magicka? Ew. How about an iron helmet that also increases it by 40 points? Regardless, let's, let's, let's make friends. You are new here, are you not? We have not spoken. No, we haven't. Then allow me to introduce myself. I am Savos Arin, Archmage of the College of Winterhold. Oh. I am quite content to see nearly any aspect of magic explored and investigated here. But I do not and will not approve of any research or experiments that cause purposeful harm to your fellow members of the College. Are we clear? I don't know. When the when the fireballs go flying, it's uh, hard to stop. Dangerous research must be a problem here. Not often, no. Some risks must be taken, to be sure. I am simply trying to avoid untimely deaths. We also must make an effort to avoid worsening what Skyrim thinks of us. So, what's the purpose of the college? Purpose? I should think it's self-evident. Magic is a true power, not something to be shunned by commoners or treated as an amusing diversion by politicians. It shapes worlds, creates and destroys life. It deserves proper respect and study. The college is a place where we can focus on that, without the pressures of the world weighing down on us. Hmm. I'd like to know more about the college's history. Educate me. I've seen documents dating back to the late Second Era. Beyond that, it's hard to say. Events in the last several hundred years resulted in a significant loss of our history, I'm afraid. Hmm. You know what? We'll pick up that thread. Uh, right now, I think Mirabelle might be... Oh, no, she went... Wait, wait, okay. 
She's probably in the Hall of Attainment. I hope I didn't cancel the tour. I got a little... There she is. Now I'll show you to your quarters. You're going to be sharing space with your fellow apprentices, who you'll meet shortly. Oh. This is where you'll be staying. Yes. This bed and desk are yours. Please try and be considerate of others. We have a room. Now, let's go back to the Hall of the Elements, where most of the members gather for lectures and study sessions. How about I loot this place instead and you go do that? Wraith teeth, vampire dust, void salts. What's in the barrel? Cabbage. That's pretty huge. What's over here? Cabbage. <laughs> they know the way to my heart. Red apples, though. Azura in the box. For sure a classic that I will bring with me. Some gold, some fine clothes, and... Excuse me, Emperor. Might I have a moment? There are others. What is it? Yes, uh, apologies for the intrusion. I was wondering uh, if you could possibly uh, procure a few select items for me. Really, Arniel? Because I seem to recall doing just that for you recently, at which point you assured me that you'd cover my expenses. Oh. And that, my nervous little friend, has not happened. Would you care to comment on that, perhaps? Uh, hmm. Yes, I... Uh, I was unaware that I had forgotten that. I will, um, I mean, I'll take care of that as soon as possible. See that you do. You know you're a pushover when a Bosmer man calls you little friend. Hey. Let me give you a bit of advice. Oh? If you want to work on something that's not officially allowed, don't tell anyone you're doing it. You need something you're not officially supposed to have? You come see me. You tell anyone that I told you, and I'll fry you from the inside out. Got it? That's a deal. Huh? Good. Anyways. Even with the college's laid-back attitude, there are still some things that are off limits. What's not allowed here? Purposely killing your fellow college members is a bad idea. I'd advise against it. Theft and assault can get you into trouble as well. As for research, well, a sufficient explanation will cover almost anything. If you're going to need live test subjects for your experiments, it's easier to do that off of college grounds. Noted. Can we do business? I hope you've got some coin. I do. The question is, what have you got? Uh, let's just take a look, then. What do you have? Okay, now we can buy. Now we can buy some stuff. Hey, whew, all right, let's take a look. Staff of Fury, Staff of Mage Light. Nope, what do we got? Some apprentice gear here, some mage gloves, a couple of scrolls. I don't really like scrolls because it always feels like a waste when I use them. Daedra hearts, man, those are expensive. We're not taking any of those. Spell tomes. Here we are. So, this is the Destruction Trainer. We have Firebolt, we have Flames, everything else, and... Do we have Sparks? Uh, it says that we have Red Sparks, so I assume that we have Sparks, yes. But do we have the Frost Spell? We don't even have the Frost Spell. So here's what we do. There are some experiments let's do I business. It's a strange now, little dialogue to go through then. to get to the selling part. I'm not going to buy the runes because they require more magicka than I have. Firebolt of Flames we have. I'm going to buy Frostbite and Ice Spike and Lightning Bolt and Sparks. And that's a speech increase we didn't want. But that's okay. A black soul gem on this. This place is dope. Till next time. All right. Are you ready for some knowledge to fill your brain? Let's see over here. Spell Tome. Frostbite, Ice Spike, Lightning Bolt, Spark. Well, I have Sparks. Why did I buy it again? I clearly said to myself, I have this. Well, I need the Tome either way. It doesn't matter. That was, that was a... Lightning Bolt. Let me test this one out. Ah! Come on, let's try again. Ah! D Useless! You sold me a defective spell. Well, I will steal from your room then. So now we're going to be better prepared for combat encounters. Girl's red dress. Why do you... Wait, somebody's sniffing. I heard sniffing. Maybe it's just a sleep sniffer. I met those before. Mage gloves. 
Songs to Return Volume 2, we might have that. The Amulet of Kings. Very good. Yellow Book of Riddles. We got Souls Black and White. Well, that sounds like an interesting book. We're gonna take some gold. Some straw could come in handy if we're ever gonna build a home. Green apples. Just gonna take a little look around. Because now we have different elements that we can fight with instead of just fire. Because fire's good and all, but let's say we face a flame atronach. Apple pie. Suddenly that's not all that interesting anymore. It would be lovely to have some frost in that case. Also frost drains a little bit of stamina. Which is excellent. I'm definitely gonna take the tomatoes. Ooh, some sweet rolls. Some carrots. You know what they say. Carrot, tomato, leek, potato. Carrot, tomato, leek, potato. I think that's I think that's the veggie soup recipe everybody's everybody's talking about. It's the hottest new thing. Hell oh wow, okay, you hey, hello. I think the college is due for a change in leadership. That's ominous. It's lies. All of it. I don't care what she told you. It's all lies. Who are you talking about? Feralda. Don't act like she didn't say anything. I know her, and I know what she's been up to. What's your problem with Feralda? My problem with her? She's the one who has a problem with me. She's threatened by me, by my skill as a wizard, by my elegance and posture, by my superior good looks. Mm. But she is mm. not going to get the better of me. Oh no, I won't let it get to me one bit. That's what she's after. She's trying to undermine my confidence, make me doubt myself. Well, it won't work, I tell you. Okay. All right then. Thanks for dumping all of that on me. I'm just a, just a, I'm not even a first year, I'm a first day. Now what's in the barrel? What you got? Oh, she's look up. Oh, you know you can keep the barrel. Oh, you're gonna go for a nap, dude. That sounds if like a great idea. Experiments, please. Okay, I'll take some Clean gold from you. So we have frost spells for warriors, since it also drains stamina, and we also have some lightning spells, which we can use on mages, since it also drains magicka. Overall, we just became a bit more of a versatile mage when it comes to destruction magic. Plus, the novice ropes of destruction that we do have with us are going to be useful, even though they don't have the same great magical regeneration bonus as the apprentice robes. They do give us a little bit of a discount on destruction spells. So, that's something to celebrate, I think. Now then, we are <laughs> raiding the food stores. All right, we should be nearly done. Whoever gets this room must not be loved very much. And all the other rooms are decked out. Book of Daedra, the Madman of the Reach. Ah, interesting. We'll take that too. Oh boy, we hit the jackpot. Okay, after this we're actually gonna go. We're gonna go have our first lesson. Hagrim feathers, some nightshade, some ice wraith teeth, bone meal, death bell, death bell, glow dust, giant's toe. There's so much good stuff here. Hey, I'm just gonna take this, place it right on the bed, and eat it on the bed. Getting small crumbs and pieces of frost atronach all over. Potato, tomato, cabbage leek. That's all we need. Amethysts. Oh, this is a good haul. Have no fence to sell this to, but the day will come. The day will come. And then you will all see that I was right. Okay. With that, we have stopped by. We could go up on the roof. I don't see a point in that right now. We were just inspecting our room, so we can store things here. We have a wardrobe and some different areas where we might want to store things in. So that's always nice to know that we have a little ooh, ectoplasm, a place to call our own. However, for now, we must be off. And by off, I mean to the other rooms to see what they have. Oh. Alright, I'm not even gonna sneak. I'm just gonna do it and just trust that nobody sees me. Which is a risky thing to do, but, you know. Miss Fire bless me and all. Take some of that. They got gold all over the place. Like, instead of stashing it all in one place, they spread them out. Uh, I know we have a girl's red dress. Wait, did I see somebody? No, I didn't. But I need these potatoes. We are running very low on vegetable soup, and that is going to be a problem. So, raiding here isn't 
just for the OCD. This is actually, I picked up sacks of flour. Well, maybe I do have a problem. What's in the chest? Gold, straw, very good. Coin purse, pretty cool. Barrel, potatoes. Ooh, they are just leaving food out for me. It's just like the uh, different religious shrines around the game. Just leaving it out, waiting for Mimir. That's what they do, right? That's why they're there. I think that's why they're there. I'm fairly sure. <laughs> More potatoes! Oh boy, I've never been so happy to see potatoes. Give me some gold. And give me some gold sapphire ring. That's pretty cool. Okay. So, we have a lot of potatoes, a lot of tomatoes. I think leek is the main ingredient. Ooh, orange tart wing that we are struggling with when it comes to vegetable soup, if we were to make some more. What is that? Swamp fungal pods. That's a weird thing to keep in your room, isn't it? All right, I'll take some of it and some of the different salts as well. I hurt myself on the barrel. In the other episode, I actually got oh, a book on troll slaying. I actually got killed by a kettle during the whole debacle in the Hall of the Vigilant. I didn't recognize it at the time. I thought I'd been killed by like a rogue hit from the Warhammer of Keeper Carsets, but no. The kettle killed me. So that's just a, a fun little fun little thing to notice. Okay, we've raided. You'll be learning from Tolfdir, one of or, our most yes. esteemed wizards. Wizard. Tolfdir. Learning. That's why I'm here. Not just to benefit. Of course, knowledge is power. I am excited about getting to the spells, though, so... As soon as we finish our long, arduous walk, you don't have to take the tour with her. You can just rush in, but... Feels in the spirit of the challenge to go along with Mirabelle as she slowly trods her way across. They're also going Tolfdier to be... is likely already addressing the new apprentices. Go on in. And if you have any problems, let one of our senior members know. Let's go! It's time for our first lesson. Hello? Oh, first day of school. Always oh, so embarrassing. Oh, how do I look? Oh, they're gonna think I'm stupid. No, it's Mimir. Mimir, you're good. All right. Welcome, welcome. We were just beginning. Please, stay and listen. So, as I was saying, the first thing to understand is that magic is, by its very nature, volatile and dangerous. Unless you can control it, it can and will destroy you. Sir, I think we all understand that fairly well. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't control magic. Of course, my dear, of course. You all certainly possess some inherent natural ability. That much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control. Mastery of magic. It takes years, if not decades, of practice and study. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Please, please. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Eagerness must be tempered with caution, or else disaster is inevitable. But we've only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us are capable of. Why not give us a chance to show you what we can do? So impatient. You've been oh. quiet so far. What do you think we should do? I think we should learn something practical. Is that so? See, he agrees with us too. Why don't you actually show us something? All right, let's settle down. I suppose we can try something practical. In continuing with our theme of safety, we'll start with wards. Wards are protective spells that block magic. I'll teach you all a ward, and we'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells, all right? Would you mind helping me with the demonstration? Are you at all familiar with ward spells? I have a ward spell, but I've never really used it. That's what this lesson is for. Perfect time to try it out. Now, if you'll just stand right over there, I'll cast a spell at you, and you block it with the ward. Here we go. Over there, please, just opposite me. Wouldn't want All right, we haven't actually properly used our ward in combat. We don't even have it hotkeyed. So, I think what I'm also going to do, we have some other interesting, all right, less rewards. In the way. Now, cast the ward spell and keep it up. 
Hold still. Excellent work. Well, I think this is an excellent start. Yeah. I'd like you all to continue practicing with wards, please. I did that. I think perhaps a plus we're ready student to right here. Some of the various applications of magic throughout history. The college has undertaken a fascinating excavation in the ruins of Sarthol nearby. It's an excellent learning opportunity. I suggest we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us inside. That's all for now. Thank you. All right, quest complete, and we are going to Sarthal. So that's also going to give us plenty of time to get to know the new students. For now, I'll let them head on and do their thing. I'm currently not interested in pursuing that any further, because we have the access that we desire. Huh. Speaking of desires, what is it you want? I have many important things on my mind. Your concerns are not among them. Another new apprentice, I see. Are you of the sort that believe you're here to change the world? Or are you only in it for yourself? I assure you that I shall be watching you, all of you, very closely. I'd like to know more about the Thalmor. Now that stability has been established between the Dominion and the Empire, we seek only to help Skyrim, to guide its people through this time of transition to help lead them to a better future. Hmm. So what is it you do here? I am an advisor to the Archmage. The Thalmor wish to promote relations with your college. I am at the Archmage's disposal if he requires advice. So does the Archmage often ask for advice? Perhaps not as often as he should. In time, I believe he will be more trusting. Hmm. Keeping an eye on you... Elf man. Can I say that? That's that's probably not that's that's not cool. Can't say that, Mimir. It is very quiet here. Is the music off? No, the music is supposed to be on. I haven't heard of anything. Let me just double check. Legendary difficulty. Let's Enchanting services are one of the few things that keep us in touch with the rest of Skyrim. Let's make a friend. The local Nords may not like us very much. But they don't seem to mind having access to enchanted weapons and armor. I need something enchanted. I'm sure you can figure it out on your own. If you can't, perhaps Urag has a book you can read. Uh, thanks for nothing. My pleasure. I like this guy. Is there any college business I can assist with? Uh, sure is. I've got another client. Wants me to do some enchanting. You could do the pickup for me if you want. Okay, I can do that for you. All right, be quick about it, will you? This is a good way for the college to bring in some money. Here's the name and location of the client. Picked from a random list. Maramal in Riften. All right, and he's an enchanting trainer. Until next time. Okay, so that's one quest in our log that we can keep around. Anybody else just happening to be hanging out over here? No? That's okay. I would like to not go to the Archmage's quarters because I have no business there. I would like to go to the Arcanium. This is where the reading happens. And where there's reading, there's books. And where there's books, there's me. Sneaking. There are so many books we could be reading right here. But we're not going to. Because I'm going to do it later. <laughs> I need a plan. I need a plan first before I start stealing all the books here. Besides, I don't think I don't Urag would... I don't want to treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? I don't want to get on his bad side. You are now in the Arcanium, of which I am in charge. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. Disrupt my Arcanium. And I will have you torn apart by angry Atronox. Now, do you require assistance? Is there any college business I can assist with? If you're feeling adventurous, I'm always looking for someone to procure valuable books from some more dangerous locations. Ooh. Okay. All right, then. Before I accept that, I need to make sure that I'm not actually carrying any of the books that he wants in my inventory because that 
has been known to glitch it a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, Miss Far Bless me and hope that he gives me a different uh, quest. If you're feeling all right, let's I'm, go. Well, all right, here. I scribbled down the last place I'd heard about. Check it out, but be careful. And what do you know? He wants a copy of a book that we already have. But because we already have it, I now can't give it to him because it was supposed to start a quest that takes us to a dungeon, which means Mistfire. <laughs> and we're gonna take Souls Black and White. And I'm gonna drop the book right there. And then you need a book? we're once if again going to ask adventure. him. Uh, no, that's not what I I wanted adventure. to. Let's go. Well, all right, here. I scribbled down the last place I had heard about. Nice. Check it out, but be careful. Always. Okay, so let's check out the note that we just got. So he can send us to dungeons to get books, even though they can be found out in much safer locations. Book, Souls Black and White, location Kronvanger Hall. Where is Kronvanger Hall? Is it any... Is it nearby? So Sarthal's over here. Let's remove that marker. Ironbind Barrow. Kronvanger Cave. Okay, so it's all the way down here. But well, it's not too far, but... Okay. That's one more quest given to Fight us. Well. I intend to. Now, there is one more man that we need to find who we should be able to locate. He sometimes hangs out here in the Arcanium. Or I'll have to go looking for him. Because I might have bought some destruction spells. That's all well and good. Eh, I like myself some destruction spells. They are not, however, my top priority at the moment. Oh, hello. Restoration is a perfectly valid school of magic, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Restoration is a perfectly valid... You consider restoration a valid school of magic? Worthy of study? Don't you? Don't you? Of course it's valid. Good. Good. Not that I require validation, of course. There are just some, and I shan't name names, who would disagree. It can make life difficult when one's colleagues fail to recognize the research one engages in. One would think restoration magic would be really sought after. <laughs> Considering you could be on the brink of death and just, I'm fine again. Like, what, what does alteration have? I'm just saying. I'm on your side, Colette. <laughs> so you're treated badly because of your work? Well, no, not really. Not directly, I mean. But I know things are being said behind my back. Conversations cease when I enter rooms. I'm quite aware of what's going on here, and I will not stand for it. <laughs> I like that I'm taking her side, but I was just mocking her voice. What do you got for sale? So you wish to master the arcane arts? Yes. Staff of Frostbite, Staff of Sparks, that's a funny thing for you to sell. An Adept Hood. Costs way too much. 50 points of magicka, though. That's pretty cool. And those apprentice robes of restoration that we got for free, valued at 3,000 gold. Yeah. Some scrolls. Spell tome. Okay. Is there anything here I want? We have about 2,800 gold, which is pretty good. So, healing is the one that we already have. Healing hands is healing a target that's not undead, an Atronach, or a machine. This right here is something I want, to be able to heal my friends. Fast healing I could also be useful. I don't know if I have the magicka to make good use of it. Steadfast war, that's a better ward. Turn lesser undead. I have a staff that does that, but a spell would be pretty cool. I'm gonna buy that, and I am gonna buy fast healing as well. Okay. Just need to make sure I have enough for conjuration magic as well, which was who I was originally looking for. Fast healing, healing hands, turn lesser undead. Mm-hmm. 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 All right. Let's see. That's the restoration tree. Let me try at healing hands here. Miss Fair, bless me. Before I start. It's day one and I'm already touching the Why am I faculty. I thought that would cheer her up, you know.
that I use. The turn lesser undead. So cool. But yeah. If that mud crab was undead and not stuffed, you know, it, it'd be running by now. Fast healing. How much? Oh, that's a that's a chunk of magicka. Still. That's hella dope. Plus the fact that once we level up now, we can actually spend a point in the restoration skill tree and get, I think it's called a regeneration perk, which gives us 50% stronger heals across the board. So... Oh, we have someone new. Travis. They say knowledge is its own reward. You... you can see me? Of course I can. She's just talking the air off Urag over there. He's just pretending not to listen. Don't fret, my fanged acquaintance. <laughs> I shan't trouble All you right. a bit. Anyways, of course I can see you. Wait, 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 no. I gotta play along. I... no, I can't see you. Not at all. But you can hear me, obviously. Something still isn't quite right. Uh, at least I'm making progress. Okay, illusion. Is there any college business I can assist with? There may be a matter in which your skills could be useful. The various points of focus for magic energies around the college have become polluted and need cleansing. Uh, alright, I'll help. Don't you have like a magical janitor or something? Very well. These specially enchanted gloves will allow you to delve directly into the focal points for these energies. Go to each focal point and remove whatever impurities you may find there. Near, yeah. Return the gloves to me when you have finished. Please exercise caution. This is not a procedure without possible consequences. Well, that's ominous. What did you need me to do? Use the gloves to clear the focal points. Return to me when you have finished. Got it. I thought I made this rather clear. I did, I just need the other part of your dialogue tree, mister. So which are the best illusion spells? Oh my, that's quite a difficult question. Never underestimate the ability to influence others. Whether they're friends or foes, they're almost all susceptible to illusion spells. They can turn the tide of a battle in a moment's notice. Mm. There are also spells that help in avoiding conflict altogether. Invisibility is tricky to master, but exceptionally useful. Oh, I don't have the money for everything. I, I need conjuration spells, but also... Take a look. Let me see what you got. I, I need to see what he has for sale. Uh, more of the default stuff. Calm. This could be so useful. Courage. Target won't flee for 60 seconds and get some extra health and stamina. That would be so good if I'm out fighting and there's a farmer jumping on my team or something. I could courage him up. Fear as a spell, because we have Fury and Fury is already so good. Muffle. Oh, I want all of these spells. I don't have the money. Very well. All right, I need to find the Conjuration Trainer first and then we can see how much money is left over because I need myself some beefy companions. Uh, I don't really... If you're working on any experiments, please clean up after yourself. What do you know about Ancano? Don't trust that one. He's up to something. Most here are up to something, of course, but in his case, it's not good. I haven't figured it out yet, but I will. What's that? Hmm. He is rather handsome, though, isn't he? Uh, right, talking about the Thalmor man downstairs. Oh, oh, do we have a winner? Winner, 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 winner. Hello. If you require assistance with summoning yes. techniques, please let me know. If you would, please also contain your summons to the college grounds. The locals do not need to be agitated further by Atronachs roaming their town. The summoning of undead is even less advisable outside the college. Summoning undead isn't frowned upon? By sure no. Those archaic policies died out with the Mages Guild, and were never enforced here. Necromancy, as any other type of magic, is a tool to be used. Of course, non-mages may not see it that way, so we don't go around flaunting it. Hmm. Are there many conjurers outside the college? Not within society, no. Many who practice within the School of Conjuration do so on their own, secretly. Falion is the only one I know who is public about what he does. He was once my teacher here, but left the college years ago. Why did Falion leave the college? He didn't like the Archmage. Hated dealing with him. Hated having to answer to him. Falion said he hated what this place was becoming. 
So he just left. Aaron found a note on his desk, and that was it. I understand he settled down in Hjalmarch, and his presence there caused something of a problem. Okay. So, what have you got for sale? So, you wish to master the arcane arts? Mm, yes. Staff of zombies. Staff of mage light. Nothing here. Nothing here. What do you got? Okay. Bound battle axe. Bound sword. Conjure familiar. Conjure flame atronach. Ray zombie we have. Reanimate corpse. Reanimate a more powerful dead body to fight for you. Soul trap. I want reanimate corpse, conjure familiar, and conjure flame atronach. I could get some bound weaponry, but neither the battle axe nor the sword can stun, and that matters to me. I like stunning. So, soul trap spell, I have it on my mace right now. I don't really have any enchanted stuff. I'm gonna leave that be. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... With that, I know that we have some extra money to spend on the Chanting person who's not one of the few here. That keep us oh, I swear. Okay. Let's see if we can make them appear, and then let's also try out some of our new spells here. We have... We need to read the book, Stark. That's, that's how that works. Conjure Familiar, Atronach, Reanimate Corpse. Now we can have fun. So, Conjure Familiar and Conjure Flame Atronach... One in each hand. Let's start with... Familiar! Oh. This is gonna be great. Might not be super powerful, but it's just another body in the fray that can help distract the enemy. If we want to get real fat, Oh, we just have enough magicka! We can get the Flame Atronach. And now we're talking. If I just have this ready before a battle, let my magicka go up to full. Oh, that's... Uh, say, Urag's giving me the, 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 the head nod. He, he knows. He knows. The tactics I'm about to investigate. There's a lot of stuff here. Okay, well... <laughs> maybe I should... Maybe he's... I think maybe he's giving me a look because I summoned an actual being of fire inside his precious library, but... You know, that's just me. Making a wild assumption. Okay. I still want to see if I can find Illusion Illusion Man. I'm an Illusion Man. Oh, he's probably invisible though. If his spell worked. Alright. I'll spend some time, but I'll find him. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Don't cut. Don't cut away. C come back. Here we go. Drevis. You know, they say knowledge. What do you got for sale? I want to buy Calm, Courage, Fear, Muffle. And I'm happy with that. More spells for the journey. Calm, Courage, Fear, Muffle. Oh my gosh. This is the coolest. Courage, Fear. As just a, a, a raw spell. Oh, muffle as well. Oh, it's really... Really pricey, but also it's gonna help if I have to really do some sneaking and that did level up my illusion, so that sucks. But with that, we have acquired lots of spells, lots of power. We know that we have a lesson for the College of Winterhold where everybody's gonna be going to Sarthal. We will let them go and wish them well, but we won't be joining them just yet. Do I want to jump off the bridge? Because we have a goal, a destination out here on the waters, somewhere we have been given a vision. There is one location I want to find before we end today. Mistfire, bless me. Oh, this is gonna, that's a terrible idea. That's a terrible idea. But I, I want to get down fast. That's exactly how we're gonna do it. <laughs> oh boy. They're probably looking on from the college like, wow, first day of classes, and he's already standing by the bridge. Oh, oh it's too shallow. Oh, come on. Okay, okay, it's, it's a little shallow. But you know, it's it's fine. We just need to hit it at a different at a different angle. 
that's it. Yeah, cause look at this. If I go, oh no, oh no, ow, Badoosh. oh it worked. <laughs> Genius. Didn't doubt myself for a second. There is a ruin up there where we could test out some of our magics, but I don't really want to mess with that. Instead, I'm gonna swim across the frigid, frigid waters here. Oh boy. Alright, let's just swim under the ice. That's probably a great idea. Especially when it comes time to go up for air. <laughs> oh boy. I must be soaked right through. We are out here. Seeking who knows what. But we have new spells. Spells that are going to help keep us alive. We can now get a companion on our side. I'm actually going to hotkey the Flame Atronach and swap out the bow, because the bow is an absolute joke. Much like in the Oblivion series, where I thought I was going to be using the bow a lot from the start. I'm probably going to end up not using it a lot. Obviously, when you combine it with sneaking and the like, it can be quite powerful. But... Alright, let's let's keep going and see if we can find the, the location that we want to find out here. There is a cave coming up. Oh! That looks very, very promising. That's the same wooden door we saw in the vision. There are horkers. You know, maybe, maybe we go test our powers before we end today's episode. We haven't had any combat. Mistfire, bless me. Alright, we can't summon it that far away. So. I'm gonna summon a flame astronaut in the frozen water. Great idea, great idea. I am going to wait for my Magicka to come back up again a little bit. How long do I have the Atronach? It's 60 seconds, right? So that's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm gonna toss out Oak Flesh. And then we are going to go. Could I cast Courage on my Atronach? And make my Atronach stronger? Does that work? I want to try that, actually. Let's see. Courage. Target won't flee. Ah, it resisted courage. Alright! I've heard tales of or Horker Pie, and I want to make some. Yeah! Yeah! Let's go! Attack these dangerous, vile, hostile beasts who definitely started this combat. Let's try out... Firebolt, shall we? Badoosh! Badoosh! <laughs> They're used to so much magicka. Because we've only really been training health when leveling up, since health is just essential on this difficulty. Still pretty fun to play with. Yeah. I summoned the Flame Atronach way too far away. It really ought to have been closer. And now it's gone, so now they're mad at me. Making me look like I'm the bad guy here. Alright, let's get some Slaughterfish eggs on the way. It's fine, though. It's all good. I just need to summon a new one, which is going to take all of my magicka. Alright. Oh my gosh. So that's another thing to keep in mind, where I summon that Atronach. Because I, I want it to be a melee fighter, I don't want it to be a ranged fighter. So that's one thing to keep in mind. I swear this Atronach is a costly... A costly gal! Just don't say that around her. Alright, that Horker's not the... I just need to kill one Horker. Just one Horker's all I need. There we go. Let's get through the... Uh oh That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Soul captured. Is that my first soul captured? Oh, that feels... Feels good. Alright. And the Flame Atronach is helping out as well. This is so good! Oh, this is excellent. I don't have veggie soup in me, but I'm not- I'm not eating them. I'm low on them. Yeah. Soul captured. What do you got? Horker meat and horker tusk. I think I already have those, but I'm gonna take the horker tusk and the horker meat as a souvenir. Then I can tell a great story about how I defeated the wild, dangerous horkers. I'm gonna- I'm gonna spin it into a tail. And now she is about to disappear in a little bit. And once she does... I will have had enough magicka to just summon a brand new one. And it's all good. And they're dead. Nice! That makes me feel 
pretty bad, but I have a powerful Atronach. I have new powers that I can test out. Calm, fear, muffle for when I want to go real sneaky. We have a lot of things to play with in the upcoming episodes. <sighs> Septimus Cygnus' Outpost. But I do want a human companion as well. And that's something that I'm going to look into getting fairly soon. But first, we have to stop by this ominous, ominous looking cave. Well, guys and girls, we had our first day at school, met the masters, picked up some spells, and we're out. We have the power we require to go on with our journey now. Who knows what lies inside the cave, what grand quest we will be set on. Tune in to the next episode to find out. Have a still good day, take care, and stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.